Here we are with one of my podcasting. Thanks for listening in. We're going to talk about TikTok because a big move was made that now they're going to start having 10 minute long videos. Let's get into what the story is all about. This is the game changer. The first thing I think about when I saw this story was the fact that we can start seeing, we can absolutely start seeing things where music videos and music is going to be prominent on these platforms. That's going to happen very soon. Just keep an eye on it. Let's go ahead and talk about it real quick here. And look at, first of all, this story from The Verge that talks about it now. The app is now challenging YouTube with its longer form content because that is the one that's doing the most when it comes down to it. And the thing is, you'd want to have where content, especially when it's like musical content, to have it available. Now, the only thing I don't know is, is there going to be any copyright issues with the amount of having those songs on there? That's the only thing I haven't read about yet that would make some sense to go learn about. But anyway, in the story itself, so... TikTok has already said that they were looking at new ways to bring value to the community and enrich the TikTok experience. So now they're going to start rolling out the ability to upload videos. They're up to 10 minutes. Last time was three minutes. Now we're up to 10. It's a big jump. And it'll hope to unleash even more creative possibilities for our creators around the world. So yeah, once that comes up, what comes up next? I think music is going to be the most affected by it. Plus there's a lot of longer form content where people can listen for five to 10 minutes. Like even my, one of my podcasting series, I can upload it to TikTok now because some of my episodes will not be that long. And the other thing too, is that I'll tell you, I like the fact of having a little bit longer than that. I don't think they need to go farther than that because for me, I like the idea of having a little bit longer videos because when I'm watching sometimes and I just need to watch something that I just need to have a little bit of time to look back at, it's nice to throw on TikTok, have that video flip up, and then I have something to do, whether I'm like, you know, brushing my teeth or I'm, you know, fixing coffee or doing whatever, having something so I don't have to keep going to the phone after a 60 second video is done, 15 second video is done and then flip, flip, flip up. It's nice the idea to do that. Plus, I think for those that are watching on the Amazon Fire TV stick or whatever apps they might be using that might not be tablet or might not or could be a television, I think it's good for that, too. Because then there's going to be certain videos you want to go back and watch that you're not going to sit on your phone for. It's a little more longer engagement. So you want to go ahead and say that, yeah, maybe we'll go ahead and maybe I'll hold on to this, come back to it, watch it on my TV or somewhere else. Because on my phone, it's, I, I need a little less time for that. But now still, you got to make sure you're making good content that's worth 10 minutes. And the other thing too is that how's the algorithm going to do that where, you know, if you want to limit the amount of, content you watch that's not going to be 10 minutes long or when you get it you know the one thing i'll tell you is that for me i'd have to watch on how long the engagement is once the analytics come in if you're a tiktok creator you got to ask yourself how long is somebody listening in or watching your content for up to 10 minutes if you're able to do that anybody that's able to do that consistently and be able to go and put that out there would be truly amazing now as we know YouTube has gone the other, route, the other route where they put out shorts, which is their own version of reels, trying to do the same idea. So anyway, they're trying to figure that out. Instagram has reels. It, it really hasn't taken off the ground when I think about it. Now, the spokesperson for TikTok says that TikTok will now need to work out exactly how to position and present these videos on its platform. And they can do it with a dedicated home for longer form content, as long as it doesn't sit so well in the vertical feed with shorter stuff that people are used to watching. See, they're understanding that part. That's going to be a real move to see what they're going to do. But now the reason I bring up the fact of how important this is, what will be easy to put out there for five to 10 minutes will be music. It could be live performances. It could be a, a longer music video. You can then position it on there. Now, the idea will be, since it's going to be vertical content, something's going to be out there for 10 minutes, will you see a music video, video done where they'll just redo the whole aspect ratio of the video or position it so it's made for that, and then they change it around? Like, that's something i got to think about what they're going to do. But anyway, Music Business Worldwide also talked about this. Should YouTube be worried? So YouTube is still the largest streaming platform in the world, more than 2 billion logged in users every month playing music on its service. And right now, TikTok is just behind their one month. Now, YouTube has managed to get a couple of superstars to its shorts pro, pro platform, excuse me. Uh, that's including an exclusive preview of all of Ed Sheeran's Equals album back in October. 
And TikTok and YouTube are, aren't just competing for users and creators, they're competing for advertising revenue. YouTube generated $8.63 $8 billion. By the way, I just read a story that, that made, they made more money for the fourth quarter of 2021 than Netflix did. That's how huge things are. And Netflix is spending $17 billion in content, but YouTube made more money than Netflix. That's important. Now, TikTok has generated $4 billion in ad revenues, but aims to triple that figure to $12 billion by 2022. Here's a graphic that got put up here by Music Business Worldwide about what they've done with their quarterly and advertising revenues. Look at how that's just increased up. It continues to go up on a regular basis. Now, they're doing 2019, 2020, 2021. 2021 is in the purple, if you're watching the video. And you see just how exponentially it went up from year to year. Look at that. Amazing. And it's funny how people were learning a pandemic. The advertising just went up way up after that. So you look at that and you just say, okay, could TikTok's longer video capability help boost its users? And TikTok always says, we're always thinking about new ways to bring value to community and enrich. We talked about that. And the other couple of things that you got to mention is about how TikTok is really changing the music industry in general. Because TikTok has been able to tell the music industry about the success of artists using its platform. Over 70 artists broke on TikTok in 2020, where they all signed to major label deals. And TikTok revealed in December of last year that approximately 430 songs surpassed 1 billion video views on TikTok last year, three more times than 2020, when over 170, 175 songs reached the billion view mark. But now you also got to make it where that music has to be. Now, here's what I got to say, too. If this is the case with the videos now, when the charts come out for Billboard and MRC, Billboard needs to start integrating into their API the TikTok hits. That's something they should be doing now, which will absolutely totally change the game on how radio has to respond to this and how you know streaming is going to do as well. Then you have to change that algorithm. Because look at the streaming that will happen as a result. Plus, the thing is, too, is that, you know, when you have Spotify that's a pretty good constant or Apple or whatever you use for music streaming, then you have this to stream videos. And you're just watching video after video after video. Oh, my God, that sounds great. And then you're getting all brand new music, constant new videos that are popping in. Right now, as a matter of fact, when I'm watching my YouTube, some of the older content that comes up, it's all music videos or just videos of performances from, like, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever, because I watch a lot of music on TikTok. And then you'll see where they have some songs that are up to a certain point and they're playing it. And I'm like, man, you know what? They did this. I probably would go and watch the whole way through. So keep in mind of that. That's something that's uh, coming up down the pipeline. I'm going to leave it there and I'll talk to you next time.